Wonder Hussy here. I'm in Southern Colorado, and I think I just found what could possibly be the coolest motel in the entire world. It's called the Movie Manor, and it's basically a two-story motel in the middle of a vast empty field that also happens to be a drive-in movie theater. Okay, so it's owned and operated by Best Western now, but that doesn't make it any less cool. It looks to me like it still retains a lot of its vintage, mid-century modern charm. I mean, look at that porta cachet by the lobby. How cool is that? I mean, how cool is this? If I didn't hate movies so much, I would totally stay here. But looking at this marquee, there's not a damn thing showing that I want to see. I don't even know if drive-ins are still a thing. There might be some people watching this video that don't even know what it is. Well, basically, drive-in movies are exactly what they sound like. It's a big parking lot with a giant movie screen at one end and you pull up to one of these little stands which I think the stands used to have like a speaker on them to play the soundtrack of the movie but nowadays you can just tune your radio dial to the frequency of the screen that you're watching and just kick back and watch a movie in your car. Look, there are actual speakers still on these poles. I'm not sure if they still work or what. If uh, you're just supposed to tune your radio to the correct frequency, I don't see what the need for these would be. But they look cool. Especially when you look out at how many of them there are. Imagine that. All these rows and rows of cars parked and watching a movie in the great outdoors. How cool is that? Of course, not everyone at a drive-in movie is watching the movie. If you know what I mean. I guess I should clarify for those of you who are too young to have ever gone to a drive-in, but back in the day, that's where teenagers did all of their humping and making out. They would go to the drive-in movies, get in the backseat of the car, and go to town. I guess you could say it was kind of like the old-time version of Netflix and chill. But check it out. If you don't want to sit in your car and watch a movie, you stay at this motel, you just watch it right out of the window of your room. All the rooms have big picture windows facing out towards the drive-in screens. I guess you just turn uh, your radio in your room onto the right frequency. I'm not sure how you would hear the, the audio from your room. And to me, that kind of defeats the purpose of going to a drive-in. I mean, no. if I'm going to watch a movie, which I hate movies, then at least I want to be able to do it out here in the beautiful great outdoors. You know, under the amazing starry sky. Which, by the way, the stars out here are unbelievable. This drive-in is in a town called Monte Vista, Colorado, just outside Alamosa. So there's not a lot of light pollution since there aren't any major cities around here. And I should know because I camped in the desert a couple miles from here last night and I saw them for myself. Oh, wow, this must be the old snack shack. This is where you would go to get your snacks, just like at a regular movie theater. Let's see if we can look through the window. Oh wow, yeah, look, it is just like a regular movie theater. This is where you would go to get your popcorn or nachos or hot dogs or whatever horrible stuff they sell at movie theaters. Wow, it's not open, otherwise I'd go in, but at least we get to peek through the window. How cool. Okay, wow, I guess it used to be called Star Drive-In before Best Western bought it and turned it into a motel. I think it was actually just a drive-in. And then look, this is like the playground, I guess. They used to have playgrounds at drive-ins so that if a family went to watch a movie and the kids got bored, they could go play. And then I guess the parents would sit here on this bench and watch their kid or keep an eye on their kid while they watch the movie up there. What a trip. Oh, wow, look, that must be the projectionist's shack. That's where the movie projector is or was. And they would blast the image onto the drive-in screen. Right there. Okay, I know I have a lot of old timers that watch my channel. How many of you guys remember going to a drive-in? 
And how many of you guys remember getting frisky at a drive-in? How many of you guys think you were conceived at a drive-in? Who can say? Maybe I was conceived at a drive-in movie. It's kind of sad, actually. I mean, drive-ins were a really cool part of the American tradition. I feel like it was a uniquely American thing and they weren't really big in Europe or anywhere else. You know, because we're a big car culture, or we were then. But now all you read about is how millennials don't even want to buy cars anymore. They'd rather just use car sharing or Uber. So the whole era of a ginormous Cadillac with five foot fins and a V8 engine roaring into a barren parking lot to st stare blankly at a screen is sadly a thing of the past. So it's actually kind of cool that Best Western is trying to keep that tradition alive. <laughs> Even though I feel like they kind of messed it up by putting a motel here. I mean, if you're staying in a room watching a drive-in movie, then where's the fun in fumbling around in the back seat, trying to get her pants off, trying to unhook her bra with one hand, trying to unhook her bra with both hands, trying to unhook her bra with both hands and both feet until she finally just pushes you away and does it herself? And where's the fun of trying not to get hit in the nuts by the gear shift while you're trying to get to third base. I mean, in a motel room, it's just too easy. You can lay her down right on the bed. Where's the challenge in that? Still though, I do think it's a pretty cool idea to have a drive-in motel. Just for the novelty factor alone, it's kind of fun. I just feel like it could be even cooler if they had vintage cars parked out in the parking lot and if they showed vintage movies, like, you know, big vintage movies like E.T., Star Wars, you know, stuff that everybody likes, Back to the Future, but that's kind of old timey, you know, to sort of go with a 50s feel. I know those movies aren't from the 50s, but you know what I mean. And they should have like a 50s diner. They should totally milk the 50s drive-in shtick here. They ought to hire me to run this place. I'd tell them a thing or two. Business would be through the roof. I mean, I'm here on August 1st and there is hardly anyone staying at this motel. There's like three cars parked here. So apparently they're not doing too well and they should hire me. Listen, Movie Manor, if you're watching this video, I'm available as a consultant. I have some pretty good ideas for you. Look, it's like I told you, there's only like two cars parked in the parking lot. And I think those belong to those contractors that are working on the roof. Well, there are those two motorcycles there. So I guess there's a couple of bikers staying here. They're probably reliving their teenage dreams. You know, from when they were in high school and they first started dating. <laughs> Back before they were bikers. Back before she got pregnant and they had to get married and he had to go work at the factory. And then the factory got moved to China. And now they're both on disability and opioids. I mean, this is August 1st. Not only is it prime summer vacation road trip season, but I don't even think this drive-in is open in the winter time because it's too cold. So if they're not selling out even in their busy season, whew, they need help. Maybe they just need to rebrand the place and rename it Netflix and Chill Manor. That might get some fresh blood in here. Or what if those contractors on the roof aren't just repairing the roof? What if they're installing rooftop hot tubs so that you can sit up on the roof in a hot tub and watch a drive-in movie? Okay, now that I would do. Okay, but as much as I hate the friggin' movies, I would totally stay here if I wasn't so broke. I just looked it up online and it's $110 a night. Yikes, I'd rather just camp here in the back of my Forerunner for free like I did in the desert last night. Just a couple of miles back behind me here. Not far at all from Movie Manor. 